Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how to use Geolocation API in JavaScript. But first of all you need to understand how it actually works. It is not based on your IP address. So if you are thinking it will take your IP address, scan against the database and will give you the location. So that is not going to happen in this case. So how it actually works. So these days everybody is having a smartphone. In these smartphones we have GPS chip installed. So with the help of this GPS chip, you can get your location in your mobile device. But at the same time, these smartphones scan the nearby wireless access points and send the details such as MAC address, name to the Google. And Google store this information in their database. So next time when you are using any laptop or desktop PC where there is no GPS chip installed, it will do the same process. It will scan nearby wireless access points take the MAC address, take the name plus a little bit of info such as signal strength and it will scan it against their database and based on that it will return the information about your location and that information will basically contain two things and that thing will be latitude and longitude. Now you can use latitude and longitude with any third party API or Google Maps API to get your readable location so that's how it actually works so let's get started we need two files here the first will be index.html and the second file will be script.js so let's add some dummy code here basically a html structure which is pretty much standard now we need a script tag here and we'll point to the script.js we need one button so that when we we'll click that button we should get a location so let's make it find my location okay and on click of this button I want to execute a function that will be get geo location and here we need anchor element so basically we are going to use some third party service which will take that longitude and latitude and show us the location. So let's add an anchor tag here, make it hash and make it click here, that's it. Now let's use some styling here and hide it for the meanwhile. We'll only show it when we actually get the location. So display none. Now let's uh, just minimize this thing. Let's make use of live server, open this file and see what kind of output we are getting here. Good. Now let's go to script.js and create a function get geolocation. Okay. Now first thing which you have to do is to check whether geolocation API is supported by the browser or not. To check it, we have to make use of navigator.geolocation. Okay. So we'll simply console log supported else just copy and paste it here make it not supported now save it open the console window click on this button I'm talking about this button which we have used here I'm just checking if the function name is correct or not so it's supported now how you'll get the current location so here we'll make use of navigator geolocation dot get current position and it will take two callbacks one will be success when everything goes well great and in case there is an error for example your wi-fi is off but you are making use of this geolocation API and it is obvious if the Wi-Fi is off it cannot scan your nearby wireless access point so it will not work so let's make it on error now we need to create these callbacks here so let's make it on success so when everything goes well we'll get an object here that will be position object and we just need coordinates from this object and just console log that okay and in case of an error 
will simply print the error. Great. Now just save this, go to browser, click on the button. So we are getting a data here. So what we need, we need these coordinates to get the location. But let me show you the error thing. So let me disable my Wi-Fi. So now you can see the Wi-Fi is off. Let me click on this button again. First clear this and you can see position error. So we are getting an error here. So your Wi-Fi must be enabled. Now as I told you before the important thing which you need from this object that is coordinates, longitude and latitude. So let's make use of it here. So we'll do the object destructuring here. So we'll make it latitude and longitude. Great. So position dot chords. That's it. Now we can simply make use of console log for the latitude. We'll make use of console log for the longitude. I think just to be on the safe side, I will not show you the longitude, just show you the latitude. So let's save it and click on this button. So we are getting this uh, latitude. Now to show the location, we'll make use of latlong.net. So it will basically take your longitude and latitude value and show you the location in the map. So here, you need to form a URL first. So const URL. And here we need our latitude. And here we need the longitude. Great. So this is the URL. Now it's time to show this anchor element because this guy is waiting for a very long time. <laughs> so let's make use of document.query selector. And we'll select this anchor element. We'll set the href attribute here. And we'll make it visible. Now just save this, go to browser, click on this button. So we are not getting it. Uh, let me see what's wrong here. Okay, we should make it dev, save it. Good. Let's add a couple of breaks here just to separate this. Now when you will click on this button, it will show you the location on the latlong.net website. Now instead of clicking on this link and showing my current location, it's better I should replace it with some dummy data. But this piece of code will work absolutely fine. Okay, there's nothing wrong in this. You can try this. I will put the link in the description where you can just simply copy and paste this code and try it on your own. But for the meanwhile, I'll just uh, change the value of latitude and longitude here. So we'll just simply commit this part out okay uh, just copy this and paste it here now here we'll make use of latitude and longitude like this so data is here this is the latitude and this is the longitude Great. So if you want to get your current location, you can simply use this. If you want to use some dummy data or some different latitude and longitude values, you can make use of this section and simply provide them here. Now let's save this, go to browser, find my location, click here and you'll get location like this on the latlong.net website. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.